We've made it to New York! Yeah! <laughs> this is the last stop before the end of our tour. Tonight's our last show that we are ending the tour with. And I am beyond ecstatic and thrilled. Look at this room, it's so cool. So look at the couch behind me. It's all artsy and oval and epic. There's the painting I did at the venue a little while back. There's Breitsky's. Hi Breitsky's, the Hi. bed. This room is really cool. I love the curtains too, but the sunshine is coming in too high and mighty. Anyways, we're in New York. Super fucking stoked. We're gonna go to the venue here in a minute for a sound check and loading in all of our equipment. Our show the other night was fucking amazing. Everybody was really nice and it was so much fun. It was really a nice, nice venue and the owner of the venue was super chill. So tonight um, is supposed to be the big Halloween goth party and I am so fucking stoked to be there and to experience it and to just have fun in general. Um, how many, Brady, isn't there several rooms in this nightclub that's uh, gonna be doing yeah, stuff? Yeah, I know there's two rooms and then they're having DJs outside too. It's gonna be crazy. So I'm gonna do my absolute best tonight to film as much as possible. And unfortunately, my selfie stick broke. So we don't have a selfie stick again. We're gonna have to just manage with me holding the camera. I hope it's not too shaky. I apologize already, but uh, yay! And tomorrow, I'm hoping that if it's not too far, I really wanna go to the Baby the Stars Shine Bright location for Lolita clothing, and I wanna check it out, but we'll see. It might be too far. I'm sure Brady and I will find something to do if we can't do that, but onwards! So up here, on these stairs, this is the stage from my perspective. Here's the back part, there's a drum kit. Look at this. And then whenever I look out, that's what I see. And there's, looks like I have a lot of room to move around up here, but they also have this platform, which will be fun. I don't know if I can stand on that though, I might ask before. Is this sturdy up here? I've never been here. Oh, okay, Never mind. No, nah, it's okay. <laughs> stage lighting. There's a bat behind the Little batty. <laughs> this place is massive. It goes way far back. I'm so excited to perform. I've got these cute little pumpkins. I hope people take a lot of photos. If you guys get any photos from the show, please post them. I want to see them. <laughs> this is dope. I'm so excited. And then back here is the back room where you can see a glimpse of bright skis go by. Brady! What up? Hi. Hey. It's filming. Got a nice poster of Iggy on the back. I mean, things are together. We're saying like there is a lot of pollution that comes with being cremated. So I would prefer to just get straight into the ground. My mom yeah. yeah. I went the week before Halloween, and it was. I told Allison like haunt, like houses. We did that whenever I was little too. I'm back. Kisses. Dude, this is the thing. Ready? Growing up Ecuadorian was actually not so bad because even though we were Roman Catholic, my. I don't, I don't know. Like, you weren't really into anything back then. So, like, can't even really see it. I'll like, have to I really edit that. Yeah, my phone. Phones, phones aren't good in there. Hello, my loves. We have finished tour. It's all wrapped up. We did it. We made it. We survived. And we had fun, most importantly. As you can tell, my hair is significantly shorter and less full. The wig has um, retired for today. I'm going to be doing my all natural hair. My mohawk is just gonna chill with us today. But um, for this day off, before we leave New York City, I really, really wanna go to this Lolita store called Baby the Star Shine Bright. It's my favorite Lolita clothing brand. I'm hoping to find some new things. Uh, hopefully I can film inside. I know that typically they don't allow you to take photos or film inside. I'm still gonna try and we'll see what happens. Today is going to be a very, very good day. I've wanted to go to Baby the Star Shine Bright since I was about 13 years old. I saw this movie that came out that was called Kamikaze Girls. 
whenever I saw this movie, I remember seeing the lead character and thinking that I thought it was so cool the way she was dressed and that I wanted to dress that way. And at the time, I started purchasing like sweet Lolita clothing and things of that nature. And then I slowly figured out that it wasn't really my aesthetic until I discovered more of the gothic Lolita clothing. And then I was like, okay, this is right up my alley. So all that to say, I have been infatuated with the brand Baby the Stars Shine Bright since about 2000 and through 2004, 2005, I want to say, somewhere around that time frame. It was whenever Kamikaze Girls came out. Maybe it was 2005, but I am thrilled to see this store and to walk around inside of it. Yes! That's so cool. <laughs> This one's like all Halloween thing. That's so pretty. We did it, didn't we, Bright Skis? We did. Yes. We went to the store. Here's my bag. I, I ended up buying like one of my things that I've wanted really bad since I was a little bitty kid and the most recent video or the most recent magazine of Gothic Lolita Bible. I'm so excited. I'm thrilled. Ecstatic. I look like a little kid. She's high right now. I am. <laughs> she's, she's on the uh, Lolita high. The uh, euphoria. Yeah, I, I'm beyond excited and <laughs> Uh, the whole time I was inside the store, I was cheesing. Like I was, like the smile I'm doing right now is just super over the moon and stoked that I'm there and that I was getting to experience it. And I finally got to go in that store like after all this time. So beyond, beyond happy. No, he said, don't turn on GPS. He said, I know which way we're going, he said. <laughs> My love, what has happened here? I thought you had the way. Do you not? <laughs> Fuck. 